to go. But until then, Satan. That was the biggest argument between Paul and Barnabas. Y'all know the famous book called Mark? It was actually Peter. Mark was his secretary. But the big fight between Barnabas and Paul was whether Mark was going to go with him. Amen. Mark, we used to call it Grand Allies. You know, the fight came and he ran away. He was a coward. Amen. So Paul said, I ain't taking him with us no more, Barnabas. Barnabas said, yeah, we're taking him. Paul said, no, we ain't. I'm taking so and so. Mark, Mark, Barnabas said, yes, we are. Now, here it is. This guy broke up the greatest friendship in the Bible. So Barnabas went his way and Paul went his way. We never knew who won the argument. But apparently Mark got it together because we're reading the book of Mark, which is actually Peter. But apparently he got it together. Okay? But Paul said, I ain't taking it with me no more. <laughs> the boy don't want to work. Every time something comes, he run out. Amen. And that's the way I feel about certain people. We just don't have the same call. I'm going to warfare. I'm a warrior. I'm a soldier. My call is in the soldier as a part of the body. Maybe you're a farmer. Go make me some food. Amen. I'm going to do the battle. You make the food. Okay? <laughs> You got what I'm saying? Yeah. I bring correction in doctor. Because that's how he dealt with me. Some of you got mercy. Some of you got grace. Some of you got healing power. Some of you got deliverance. Whatever it is, stay in your lane. Don't ask me about eschatology. I don't know. I know about it, but I ain't teaching it. But if you ask me how you stop getting, uh, uh, stop using drugs, I can help you. you ask me to stop drinking, I can help you. you ask me to stop fornicating, I can help you. All right? But you ask me about entire relationship and one day Jesus coming back, I can't help you. Because I don't know. Amen. And they trying to know. I'm trying to get there. I hope he don't come before I'm ready. Amen. That's my fear. What's your fear? Amen. Amen. Thessalonians. Thank you, Lord. I ain't forget. I knew that was going on. Then we're going to close. Uh, let me make sure what I really want here. Bingo. Second Thessalonians chapter 3. It fell right there. Boy, I love you, Lord. Second Thessalonians chapter 3. Starting at uh, how far I want to go here. <coughs> Starting at verse 6. Now here we go. Ready? Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we, that you withdraw follow us, for we behave not ourselves just only among you. Neither did we eat any man's bread for nothing, but wrote with labor and travail. They worked. Men worked. They did what was told them to do. Hello. And they did it what? Day and night. That we might not be chargeable to any of you. That we may not be held responsible to any of you.
And since I've been here, I have known three men who have died in this place. Now I don't know where they really went. Now I should have known where that I can. But all of a sudden they dropped dead. When they had opportunity after opportunity after yes. opportunity. And then those who had went, and watch the people who are willing to take you with this. See, we got too many salesmen here. Ladies. Gave you a sale of bills, and now you're living with them in fornicate. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Don't be doing that. That man is ready to play you. Amen. What's on the record going to play? I guarantee those people who left here in fornication right now, that record going to play. I guarantee you. They'll be either be back here, but they'll be too embarrassed to come back. Because the record played. Everybody knows what's on the record. <laughs> Verse 11, for we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly walk, working not at all, but are what? Busy bodies. Say it a whole lot, they ain't got nothing to say. Until you get a job and show some substance to what God's doing in your life, keep your mouth shut. They don't need you to be a busy. How can you talk against somebody and you still sitting in a place where you ain't got no house? No car, no constant income, but you want to say, you want to give somebody some wisdom on how they want to do things. If you're that smart, then go get a house, go get a car, go get a job, go back in, serve, and do what you need to do. Other than that, stop being busy by keeping your mouth shut. I'm sick of hearing people talk about Pastor, I'm sick of hearing people talk about Jeffrey and Ron, and I'm sick of you talking about me because I call you a devil and drop a hat. Amen. And I told Pastor, I'm going to be preaching like this from now on. It's all right. You know, because it's wrong. We all make mistakes. But if you ain't got the integrity to stand up for the mistake you make, shut up. Shut up. Because I teach correction. If you don't like the way I teach, too bad. I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. Teen Challenge. Kate Moran Ministry. From Alabama to Philadelphia. Had four ministries. I think I got maybe a little bit experience. But you've been saying spit long and gonna tell me I'm wrong. Been through what I've been through. Shot at, stabbed, huh? beat up in the prison, beat up walking down the street for the gospel sake. Have you did that? Chased by pimps because I got hookers off the street. Have you did that? Have you helped people who were dying at the moment they received the Lord? Have you done that? Have you watched men lose their whole bowels and just fall out in front of you? Have you done that? A person called you up and they took a bottle of pills and asking you to save them. I'm not Jesus. I can't save them. And then you take responsibility. And then God heals you and gives you revelation that they did not go to hell. Their soul has sinned, but their spirit has sinned. Stop telling people they're going to hell because they killed themselves. You don't know. I don't claim that mess. I watch too many people die. So when you can stand up to that, and there are greater men than me that done more than me, that I look in amazement with. But until you can stand there and say, you've been through that warfare, keep your mouth. Have you been through the warfare of Pastor? Have you been through the warfare of Ryan and Jeffrey? And he, and, have you been through the warfare of James? Shut up. Because you're about to get the warfare. You ain't, no, you ain't no warrior for Christ until you suffer. Amen. First of all, again. Now, them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But you, brothers, be not weary of well-doing. That's an old King James word for go to work. <laughs> go find a job. Be not weary of well-doing. Go get a job. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, or letter, because epistle means letter, note that man. That means put a note on him. Let everybody know. See him? He's messed up. He's a busybody. Point at <laughs> Verse 14. If any man obey not our word by this letter, note that man and have no company with him, mm -hmm. that he may be what? Ashamed. Mm -hmm. Yet count him not as an enemy. Mm -hmm. Even when I tell you you're not my friend, you can still ask me for 
anything you need. Amen. I'm just saying we can't go to lunch. I'm not going to dinner with you. Amen. But if there's a need, I'm going to help you. But you got to be accountable to me now. Amen. Why do you need it? Yeah. I take you to go get it. Amen. But I never said I would give you the power. I'm not crazy if I don't do that. All I'm saying to you is, you hurt me, now you got to be accountable. Amen. Your trust can come back. But show me that you that you really really ready to be a friend in the game. Amen. 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 Don't never kick him to the curb. Amen. Amen. Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. That means warn him. Stop what you're doing, or you're gonna go to hell. Stop that stuff. Stop being lazy. Stop that busybody stuff. That's what we're supposed to do. See, that's our word, isn't it? Amen. 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 One more verse, 1 Peter 5, and then we cook. 1 Peter 5. The Lord just gave that to me. 1 Peter 5. Bingo. Verse 10. If you really want your integrity and you really want to do this thing, this is what's going to happen to you if you're asking for it. How many of you really want to be real Christians here? Amen. Well, you just playing the game. Thank you for saving me. Thank you. 